Very nice. Okay. So just straight up. Okay. Well, one movement. Go ahead. Are rotating hands or no? No, we're going to stay with one hand, 15 per side. Okay. Good. I remember when you come up, Kendall, look straight forward. Nice. One of the biggest things you'll see is a mirror is a great tool in the gym because it helps you check your form and also makes sure you're doing everything correctly. So it's very good to, to do exercise in front of a mirror. Good. Come on, Cal. Good. Down. Straight up. Boom. Straight up. Don't twist. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Two more. One more. Good. Okay. Let's switch. Now, like I said, like, okay. okay? And then the whole time, so you'll grab it like, you'll grab it like this and just see how my hand stays straight, okay? Because you don't want to twist the dumbbell when you're bringing it up because you can cause problems in your wrist, okay? okay? Just here and just straight up, okay? All right. And you're doing good with your squatting. So like I said, just squat down and then push with your legs in the upper body, okay? One, good, come on, up, two. A one-arm dumbbell snatch like this is a great way to work the overall body. She's working her core right now, working her glutes, her hamstrings, her quads, obviously her shoulders and her chest as well. Great exercise. Good. Come on, girl. Push it up. Nice. How up. much is this thing? Huh? How much is a weight? Just as much as you need. Let's go. Come on. Up. Seems heavier today. Two. One more. Good. Down. Fifteen pounds. Fifteen pounds. Okay. Let's stretch across. One of the keys as well is you'll see with Kelly, we, take, we keep our rest times very, very short. Um, there's a lot of different training methods out there. I, like to, I prescribe to more of a higher volume training approach where basically we're, we're trying to maximize the work inside of our hour session, okay? It's not uncommon if we do a mixed body part to do anywhere between 25 to 35 sets per workout or about 15 to 20 sets for actually one body part if it's a bigger body part. So again, we're working on many different exercises from many different angles for the muscle to go ahead and really maximize our fat burning and maximize our muscle breakdown, which means we're maximizing our muscle building when we eat good food afterwards. Again. You're working that hard. I can feel it. As long as you can feel it. Come on. As long as I can feel it. Let's go. One, good. Up, two. All right, I'll turn your hand. Three, four, good. Come on, use the legs. Climb it up. Five, good. Come on. Six, straight forward, hon. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's switch. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> One, come on. Up. Two, three, there you go, come on. Five, good, come on girl. Six, seven, can we get it on this face right here? This is, this is a good face, this is a good face. Work it hard, work it hard, come on. Up, good. Stretch across first. All your listeners, they get to come in and see Kelly. They get to see how you're looking at how right fast I'm being tortured. Exactly, how you're kicking butt. So when they see you out, when they see you out in your spots, they're like, "Damn, she looks good." You're like, "This is why." <laughs> you know, I to tell my clients, "You're willing to do what no one else is willing to do, so you can look like no one else looks." Right. Now, I like the other one better. What's that? You have to do something you've never done before to get something you never had. Right. If you want something you never had before, you just say you never did before. Right. So. I like that. <laughs> the bottom line is, I learned a long time. I learned a long time ago in, in life. Everybody talks about going the extra mile. There, there's a lot of people still go the extra mile. The question is, can you go the extra inch? Because when after the extra mile beats you the crap out of you and beats you up and you're dead and you're tired and you don't want to get up again, we you get up and go the extra inch? The extra inch is the difference between successful people and not successful people. The extra inch is what, what makes you a champion or not a champion. It's the extra inch. Forget about the extra mile. All right. We got one more. Let's go. Shoulders like Sean. Shoulders like Sean. Come on. I don't want shoulders like yours. <laughs> what are you talking about? That is, that is, a, that is a, a fine shoulder right there. I don't care what anybody says. Come is on. Is hand right or is it supposed to be the other way? Your hand's good. Okay. Good. Come on. Get it up. Up. Nice. Up. Keeping that core tight too, girl. Come on. We should put some of that... Uh, Isn't it 10? No. One more. Good. Who did that song, Work It Out? It's like a Kanye West song. Do a little Work, work it, it Out. Get a little back. There you go. Okay. 
We put a little DMX behind it, you know? <laughs> you're gonna make me lose my mask. <laughs> you're gonna make me lose my waist up in here. Up in here. Come on, finish strong. We'll rest at the end. I'm coming. I'm a little short with. It's okay. Yeah, come on, Kelly. Pop it up. Two. Up. Three. Good. Come on. Up. Four. Let's go, sweetie. Five. Good. Come on. Six. Four more. Four more. Let's go. Four, up, three, come on, come on, come on, come on. Two, don't pause, one more. Yeah. <laughs> one of the things you'll realize is that you hear a lot of people talk about the benefits of cardiovascular, and you'll see with Kelly that, you know, we do about a five or 10 minute warm up on the treadmill, but you're gonna see that she's getting her, her aerobic or her, her cardio conditioning inside of her workout, you know? There's the aerobic, which is the cardiovascular, which is usually the treadmill and the cardio. And then there's the anaerobic, which is the resistance training. By doing high volume training and keeping our, our, our rest short between sets, you see her, she's getting winded, her heart rate's getting up. So she's getting her cardiovascular and her resistance training together at the exact same time. So if you think that you cannot fit working out into your lifestyle and you, know, you can't do two hours of cardio a week, two hours of resistance training, this is a great way with high volume training to get at both at the exact same time and maximize your benefits. Head over here, honey.